There is an air quality alert issued here for a good part of the Mid-Atlantic and some parts of the East Coast. Now, what happened, my friends, is apparently over the past 24 hours, there have been approximately 160 wildfires, right, that started in Canada, specifically in Quebec, where these forest fires are currently active and they fueled, this is what they, they're telling us, right? Obviously, we can't believe everything they're telling us, but they're saying they're fueled by high temperatures and dry conditions. Now, why is this a concern to you? Well, it's a concern to me because right here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, it's kind of close to central Pennsylvania. I smell smoke. Okay, it's very faint. Okay, and I started smelling it last night. I just thought it was normal, in which it is, to smell smoke in my area because we have a lot of farmers that burn their trash. But I did see stuff which I questioned and I thought was abnormal. Okay, this is where my discernment kicked in. And I'm going to tell you about what I saw, especially what I saw with the rain. Some strange looking stuff. So anyway, air quality alerts are issued for 13 states in my area, my friends, Lancaster County, uh, Central Pennsylvania, the greater Philadelphia area. We've ish been issued today a very unhealthy alert, which basically they're telling us that sensitive groups such as people with asthma – Right, because of this smoke that's been coming from Canada down into the United States. It's kind of crazy. You could think about something that far can affect us, right? They're saying avoid outdoor activity and it's going to affect people that have autoimmune diseases, that have breathing problems already, and people with asthma. So I guess I'd say don't go for a jog if you have asthma, right? Stay indoors if you feel like, but for me, I'm going to continue my life and do what I do. But the thing that bothers me, it says also healthy individuals are likely to experience difficulty breathing and throat irritation. So that's my concern. Is there a lot of fear being pushed on because of this? I'm sure there is, and I'm sure there will be. So as I said, I'm not going to go for a long jog because I see the signs. I notice what's going on. I smell the smoke, but I'm going to continue to work and do what I got to do. Okay, we need to use discernment without letting fear get the best of us. Know your own body. With that being said, in your part of the country or wherever you're from, are you experiencing any symptoms? Have you noticed anything? Because as I said last night, I noticed some smoke. And this morning, I noticed some smoke. I thought it was just fog on the horizon, right? Or as I said, neighbors burning something. But then my brother called me and he told me about what's going on. And then I started putting two and two together. I said, well, this isn't normal. Okay, I don't watch the news, but I'm on top of things. And if I'm not on top of things, I have trusted family and friends that are also on top of things, including neighbors. And we're here to look out for each other as we should. So they informed me that. And then, as I said, I put two and two together. And I thought about it last night. I'm going to tell you what happened last night. It rained for about an hour around 7 o'clock in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. It was very odd. Now, it hasn't rained for approximately three weeks. It's been mainly cool. Crops haven't been growing as much as they have or if at all. And compared to last year, my friends, this area was flourishing with crops. Everybody just said it was such a great season, especially my Amish friends and neighbors that grow their own crops and whatnot. But over the past three weeks – Generally speaking, it's just been very dry, no rain, and if you just walk around or even take a drive through this county or even the next county up, you can see people's properties are turning brown, okay? So we would desperately need the rain. I'm just not sure if we needed that kind of rain that happened last night, and maybe this might tie into the chemicals. I'm going to ask you – I said chemicals. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, could there be chemicals tied into this fire? Because obviously we don't trust the government and the corporations that are in bed with the government. Just take a look at East Palestine, okay? So with that being said, I'm not trying to get another flag, another strike. I want to bring you the truth. That's why I got to be careful because I'm just back on YouTube. It's been two weeks as I spoke out against Tarjay, right? Maybe I shouldn't say the right word or I'll get another strike. Or maybe there's some little troll on here that's flag in my videos. I spoke out last two weeks ago at Tarjay and the whole their month that's here, which is utterly disgusting and it's an abomination. Anyway, 
Excuse me. Hope it's not from the smoke. My throat is a little dry. Anyway, so last night it started raining really bad. And during the rain and after the rain, you know, there were little floods going downstream side of the road, just normal stuff you'd see from a quick, heavy rain shower. But what I thought was weird, and I'm going to use the word weird, is that the rain was like a milky, bubbly color. Obviously, there was regular colored water, clear rain, just drizzling, but it was flowing on the side of the roads, bubbly and milky looking, my friends. I've never seen anything like that, okay? There are lots of bubbling white spots as it's flowing downstream. And I did some research. Research says that it could be because of the hotter summer months, which it wasn't a hot summer month, that because there hasn't been any rain, that the rain touches the ground on the roads, right? And all of a sudden, the oils apparently create this white bubbles. But the thing is, it really wasn't hot out. The road wasn't hot. But hey, I'm no scientist. I'm just telling you what I've seen. Let me know if you've heard of anything like this. But I'm going to end the video with this video that I filmed last night about the roads, okay? I can neither confirm nor deny, as the experts say in government, right? But I just see what's going on. Things seem very strange. Are they using these catastrophes? Uh, part of my land, my French, right? Are they using these crises, these so-called crises, as a way to push fear? Yes. Are they created? I'm not sure, sure, but probably. And if they're not created, they're using them to stir up a reaction to push us towards what? More lockdowns, perhaps? A climate crisis? Wearing more masks? Because that's what they're telling people to do on the radio today for the local news. I turned it on to hear what they had to say. So obviously with something bad that happens, let us just know there's always going to be an agenda. They're going to push on us in order to push fear and to isolate and control us. With that being said, my friends, remain vigilant. Read the King James Bible. Stock up. Be prepared. Are you prepared for a crisis that could be coming to you from hundreds if not thousands of miles away? What can you do? Do you have a plan? Do you have communications? Many people say there could be an EMP. I believe that there is going to be a grid down scenario before the year 2025, as the World Economic Forum said. Do you have a plan, my friends? Because the WEF, Davos, World Economic Forum, those parasites said that 2023 is the year of the poly crisis, right? Which means there will be many crises happening. Why? Because it's just another part of their plan, multiple resets within one great reset to push us towards totalitarianism, communist New World Order surveillance concentration camp. That's basically what it is. Giving us the illusion of freedom while, right, saying this is for your safety. With that being said, enjoy this two-minute video that I took last night on Tuesday, June 6, 2023 of the strange, milky-looking, bubbly rain and let me know your thoughts. This is what the grass looks like down here where I live. It's kind of close to central Pennsylvania, Lancaster County, and hasn't rained for about three weeks, folks. That's not normal for around here. Yeah, if we can take a look right here, you see the grass. Usually it's a bright green color now, but a lot of it's been turning brown and dying. Like I said, it's been just about three weeks since it rained, and a lot of the farmers around here have been getting upset. We've been praying for rain, and we just got rain, but never seen rain like this before. I'm about to show you. It looks like there's all these white, foamy bubbles. It rained for about an hour, and this is what it produced. I'd say I drove around for about 10 miles from different towns, and... This is what it all looks like down here. Just strange, soapy looking weather. I don't know, just cause perhaps maybe just strange to me. Is this strange to you? This is what the, the rain looks like, the puddles. It's everywhere from here to the next towns over just driving on the roads. And perhaps it's like this because it hasn't rained for three weeks. And that's perhaps what it produces because the oils on the ground. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, but I just wanted to show you this. Doesn't look like something that I would, I guess, uh, water my plants with, or you know, I encourage you wash your vegetables off. But it's just strange to me, and I wanted to show you. Have you ever seen anything like this? Let me know.
Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here. They're preparing the farm right now, the, the lands, and they're what they're doing is they're tearing it up and spraying it, just getting it ready. But these farmers are really happy now that it rained, even if it was just for an hour, it's something. But at the same time, you know, especially with what happened in East Palestine, Ohio, we're the next state over. I'm not saying it is it, but could it be chemicals? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just nothing at all, but just wanted to post this short video just to get people talking about the weather in your part of the world and how are things doing for us. Not too good right now with crops and the whole dry spells we've been having, which is very rare for Lancaster County uh, because it's, it's known for a lot of the corn they grow for the feed and tons of vegetables that are local here and, of course, the local dairy farms. Anyway, take care, my friends. Let me know if you experience anything similar or different. God bless.